Hey YouTube, so today we are going to be sharing on what are our top three games and tips for your tiny dog. So whether that be that you've got a toy dog, you know, your little tiny chihuahua or your miniature dachshund or whatever it might be, um, or whether you have a puppy like we've got with little little baby casino right here. She's about four and a half, five months old. Um, and um, and so she she's small. There are certain things that we must consider. The first one that we must consider is it can be quite scary being small, right? That can be quite, um, quite a, a, a big world for them to be in. The second thing that we've got to be aware of with, with little dogs is that actually they can get grabbed a lot and they can get picked up a lot and yet where's the consent there? Did they did they give you permission and we need to find a way of getting their consent in doing that otherwise there are a lot of tiny dogs out there that do not like to be handled and do not like to be picked up. And then the other thing that we should be aware of is that Actually, they've only got little legs. So there should be, you know, if there was a game that we could play with them that would teach them super cool things, but also be, you know, small leg appropriate, then that'd be really good, right? So the first thing that we're going to work on is actually consent to being picked up. So, so what we start with is actually a dog that is quite happy to put their paws on you. And all I've got is some of Casino's daily food allowance here. And I'm just feeding her for putting her paws onto me, putting her paws onto me. If you've got a really small dog, then you can look to see if they can even get into your lap a little bit. Um, <laughs> you're trying, I love it. Um, and all we're doing is we're using their daily food allowance to teach them that this is a, I know, find that one then, find that one. Oh, hi, yep, yeah. and you get a dog that actively wants to, you know, jump into your lap. And so there's a level of, you know, consent or permission given there. And of course, this can grow into really cool things. Like, um, for example, we could do something like throw one over there. I'm going to crouch down. Wow, well, yep, yeah. and therefore we've got to jump into our arms you know, small, you know, leg size permitting there. Um, but the point is, is that instead of us going down to them, yeah, a lot of dogs, if you do that, they're like, oh my gosh, I do not want to be picked up. I do not want to be touched. Instead, they're driving the learning. So that'd be the first tip. The second tip is that actually exactly what Casino's doing right here. Um, it's really important with your small dogs, your tiny dogs, and even your puppies, that they have a place where they're not bothered, yeah? So where they're not bothered by people or the other dogs in the house. Household. So um, what we're doing here is we're just putting value into actually Casino staying on a bed. And this all starts with, this all starts with actually, you know, does she want to be on the bed? Can I put some of her daily food allowance on this bed? And she's choosing to, um, to get onto it because that in itself is a little bit of a scary prospect. Um, and then it comes down to just popping value into the bed. Now, really important golden rule with this one, guys, is if you've got little ones, as in little two-legged ones, um, or if you've got other dogs that are maybe bigger than your toy tiny dog, actually, they need to understand that this is, the, uh, this is Casino's area and therefore she shouldn't be grabbed and messed with when she's on this. If she's choosing to be there, that's her space. We reward her for making great choices. We don't take offense that they don't want to cuddle with us. We think that's great self-management, right? Um, and um, and we, we see this as a good thing and we leave her alone. That allows relationships to be really long-lived among all members of the household. Now, the final tip that we've got for you is a cool little game that you can play with any dog, but it's especially cool for your little tiny dogs, and that is the mouse game. So all you're going to do is you've got some of your dog's daily food allowance. You're just going to pop it down and you're going to wait for some level of good, some level of back off. Good, good, get it. And we're going to cover it up again. <laughs> and when they, when you get a level of back off, that's when doop, you're going to doop. Oh, you got it. You got it. And yeah, they're clever. And you, when they back off and when they disengage, we're going to, doop. <laughs> we're going to let them get it. That teaches them some level of self-control, some level of disengagement from things that are loads of fun. Um, and it's a great way of getting a dog to actually make their own choices and drive the learning, but it happens to be the choice that you want them to make. That would be our top three tips for working with tiny toy dogs. 
remember game changers whatever the dog owning struggle there's a game for that if you haven't already remember to subscribe to our channel and check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge watch the videos play the games transform your dog owning struggles as a loyal youtube subscriber you can get a 70 percent discount through the link in the description below and if you haven't already subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on itunes and spotify the sexier than a squirrel podcast and remember to follow us on facebook and instagram for more live teaching video content and free training using the links in the description Yeah. <laughs>